is Dr. Donna. Welcome to week 37. Last week, we read the carrot principle. This book was all about how you recognize your employees. Now I thought, oh, here we go again, passing out a certificate, passing out some stupid watch at the end of a 50 year career. But that is not what this book talked about. It talked about why you need to recognize your employees, your staff, your team members, and not only that, but when and how often. I worked at Frito-Lay and I was guilty of it and I was actually a victim of it as well. You've been at service for five years and so they give you your five year vested pen or your nice little camera or whatever it is and then you get another one at 10 years and another one at 15 years and so on and so forth. But did you realize that most new employees and new managers leave the organization within the first three years? Imagine that, being at an organization and you have to wait five years before someone says, great job, you're awesome, you're the best. Now this isn't about passing out a bunch of certificates and awards just for awards sake. What happens is that, as you know, most people leave organizations, not because of the moolah, but because of the way they were treated or lack thereof. They quit their managers. So if you're an effective leader and a great manager, then your staff and your team members, they're gonna stay because they feel valued. People that feel valued, add value. And I've said that multiple times before. What is the carrot principle? I'm so happy you asked. There are four areas that managers need to be really good at before the carrot principle can even be applied. Number one, you have to be an effective communicator. Number two, you got to be really good at goal setting. Number three, and the most important of all, is trust. I talk about building trust and establishing trust in my book, Real Leaders Wear Pink. By the way, you can check it out on Amazon if you don't have your copy. And then the fourth one is accountability. And I talk about this in my book as well. And my favorite saying about accountability is, accountability, without it, we are reckless. Last week's TED Talk, The Lie of Small Business. You wanna know what the lie was? The lie was that small businesses actually are small. They are not small, they just think small. And they can operate on a grand galaxy unit sphere global level if they just take on some different principles. What he talked about most is that most people start off with a small business so that they can have a great lifestyle. Then they might move up to legacy. But when you're really, really, really making a difference is when you have a philosophical business. Think about Apple, think different. Nike, just do it. Brentworth Industries, my company, connecting the world to business. When you have a philosophical goal, it takes you beyond who you are and you stop thinking small and you really start operating at a big level. He also told us that there are six things that every business needs in order to be successful. Infrastructure is number one. You need access to the marketplace. Number three is that you need administrative support. You cannot run an effective business if it's just me, myself, and I. You need people, you need assets, you need funding. And when you have all six of those, now you can take that from a solopreneur all the way up to a philosophical company that has a global presence in the marketplace. We have an amazing book for this week. It's called Don't Set Goals the Old Way. This ought to be interesting. This week's TED Talk is the secret of becoming mentally strong. For those of you who are joining us for the first time, that link below, that's for you. The one that says answersrus.com 5050 challenge. You need to sign up. There's still time for you to be better than average and read more than one book a year. As I always say, when you can see it and you can read it, then you can believe it and achieve it. From here to the galaxy, I'll see you guys next week. Au revoir.